So I have a problem. I've been using AI to generate some really awesome Japanese banjo folk music, as one does. I'm, <laughs> I'm sure you can relate to that. But now what I need is some equally awesome album art to go with it. But the problem is, is I have an idea of the album art that I want in my head, and I haven't been able to use prompting alone to get me there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use Togni to generate some, uh, basically uh, a general idea of the album art I want. And then we're gonna use all these really cool tools within Sogni to fine tune it, to get it exactly how I want it. We're gonna use different models. We're gonna use control net. We're gonna use camera angles. We're gonna use guide images. I don't even know what else we're gonna use, but it's gonna be rad. Check this out. Now, these are some of the attempts that I've had to try and generate this album art. You can see I have Spring Meadow in Japan, Cherry Blossoms, Mountains in the Distance, a banjo leaning against a tree, text at the bottom, Mountain Song by Kimono Cowboy. Obviously, if it's a banjo song, I think Kimono Cowboy is a pretty good artist name. But the problem is this, these aren't really kind of getting the aesthetic that I want. Flux has a very kind of high contrasty look to it, and that's not kind of what I'm going for. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna open up our gallery and I have a similar image that I was able to get. It turns out it's actually a lot easier to generate good banjo images if it's in America because you know, it's an American instrument. And I also like this art style, but through the steps we're gonna get, we'll probably get a different art style than this one. Let's go ahead and restore all settings. And I'm gonna show you how I generated this one real quick. I didn't use Flux, I used Albedo Base XL for this one. I actually like this model quite a bit. It gives a really nice aesthetic. But Albedo Base is actually not the model I need because it's an XL model and I need a model that supports control net. So what we're going to do is we're going to change this to be Japan in the spring. So let's find a good control net model. Dream Shaper could be good. We could use a Blazing Drive or a good anime model. I think I'll just go with Sogni Artist. This is a good, well-rounded one. So that'll work well. Let's close our model explorer. Let's randomize our seed. And we're going to open up control net and bring this guy on down. Now we've got kind of two different ideas of how we could change this style we could use instruct pixel to pixel and just say changes to springtime or we could use tile resample and we're going to get different results with each let's let's just try both of them out we have instruct pixel to pixel so i'm going to go to the beginning of this prompt we need to change everything that says autumn let's get rid of that and we will say cherry trees and pink blossoms i'm going to get rid of super wide angle since it's not really doing it anyway in fact i'm just going to get rid of that whole section and then let's add at the beginning because we are using instruct pixel to pixel we need to give it the instructions so let's say change it to springtime in japan and then we've changed it to cherry trees to pink blossoms and that looks pretty good let's go ahead and imagine Okay, it really overdid it on the pink. I want to get rid of the word pink out of there and we'll say cherry blossoms instead. Let's try that. Now it's kind of ignoring my prompt in three of these, but actually that one, I'm going to go ahead and favorite that one. That's pretty close to what I want. Let's see what we could get if we did a tile resample though. If we switch this to tile resample and I get rid of the instructions at the beginning, well, I would just say springtime in Japan and imagine. All right. Two of these don't really make any sense, but that's okay because this is the one that I like. Let's actually compare it with the other one that we got from Tile Resample. Exit this group. Here's the other one we got. This one is too pink. We're not going to go with that one still. We're going to go ahead and go with this one. I like this. This is a good start for us. So now what I'm going to do, now that we have kind of a good vibe that we want, is I'm going to go ahead and get rid of Control Net and minimize it. And let's go back into Flux because I am going to want to add some text to this. And Flux is very good at that. What we're going to do is use this as a guide image this time. I think we have strength at 36. I think that actually be, might be pretty good at what we want. And I'm going to change this prompt back to the prompt that I had previously. And that is anime art, spring meadow in Japan, cherry blossoms, mountains in the distance, banjo against a tree. That is great. Let's go ahead and imagine. There we go. That's getting closer. But I want to make one more change. I'm going to actually zoom in a little bit on the banjo. I want the banjo to be a bit bigger. So we're going to go in. If you wanted to, you could change the strength up so you can see a little bit more clearly when you do this. I'm going to zoom in a bit more. I just want the banjo to be a bit bigger in the image, something like that. And I'm going to bring the strength back down. Let's take it to 40. That's good. And I don't need 15 steps. Let's do four steps and imagine again. There we go. And you can see this doesn't have the kind of characteristic high contrasty look that Flux has typically, which is great because I don't I don't really want that for this album art. But now we have a different problem and then it's not doing the text right. No, this one is red. I didn't specify a color, although I'm going to go ahead and say white text and see what it comes up with. That one's pretty good. I don't love that it added a random little girl there. So I'm going to make one more change and let's say album art text at the bottom and see what that does. All right, here we go. I think we have a winner here. I like this one. I wish the text would be a little bit smaller. What I'm gonna do actually is I'm gonna go ahead and switch to nine and let's see, now that I have almost the exact image I want and it's just kind of focusing on the text, I'm switching it to, to generate nine at a time. 
All right, we got images that I like. So it's still struggling with the text. And while I was generating, I had another idea. If I could change this up here in the prompt, and we would just say text at the bottom. And then I'm gonna change this from anime art to album art. I'm gonna go back to four, because I think that that might do it for us. Nice, I like that this one actually has a little cord plugged into it. It's an electric banjo. But I'm gonna try one more time. Ooh, this is the one. I like this one. It even has the shadow from the leaves on it. That's pretty cool. Ooh, I like that. Let's go ahead and upscale it. I think I don't want to do the anime one because I don't really want it to have an anime look. I like that it has, you know, a little bit more texture and detail. I love the way that the tree looks with the bark. Yeah, that's great. Love it. And now the only thing left to do is to listen to the song. Thank you. 